Hello, everyone. Terrence Lehue here with the Intellectual Agrarian Podcast. Since we've been talking a lot about home delivery stuff lately, I've decided that I was finally going to find myself a farmer and get myself a home delivery. So I searched around online, eatwild.org, I think was the website that was referred to once in a previous episode with Cliff McConville. Great resource. So I used that. I found a couple of different local farms. The one I finally settled on was Fed from the Farm. So you're joining me today for an unboxing video. I know it seems too good to be true. It really is. But before we do that, I just want you to appreciate here the packaging. Personally, I'm the type of guy that says, well, why one of the main reasons that any Apple product seems spectacular is simply because they're a master of packaging. Right, so let's look at the packaging here. It says meals with a purpose on this side, family eats with purpose, regenerative pasture-based farms prosper, the soil becomes healthier, food is more nutritious, communities and families grow stronger. I mean, that's pretty awesome. On this side, it, other side says regenerative agriculture, Everything gets fresh pasture, cows get clover too, sheep clean up weeds and forbs, chickens hunt down bugs, pigs keep the woods clean. I'm pretty awesome. Then here, healthy families, non-GMO, antibiotic free, everything pasture raised, 100% grass fed beef and lamb, humanely raised. Again, these are the types of things that I super am excited to find. Now they aren't certified organic, but it looks like they follow a lot of organic practices. And so again, I'm just really excited about this. On uh, top of the box, it says this family is making a difference, truly cares about nourishing their family well, is leaving a legacy of hope and healing. Please be extra gentle with this package. I'm super excited. This is a pretty, I mean, I was just expecting a cardboard box that's just a plain cardboard box with like the freezer thing inside. So already they have dramatically impressed me with the package here. And at the bottom of this, so it, uh, my mic cut out earlier, yet again revealing one of the many reasons why I do a lot more audio content than video content, but I digress. So one of the cool features on this box that I want to make sure I brought up, besides the fact that all around it, it has these great graphics and explanations about how they farm and why they farm it that way, on the bottom here, take a look at that. I mean, it, it looks like dirt. It's got the earthworms around. It kind of goes well with the grass all around the edges, but it says healthy soil is the foundation for nutrient rich food. It should be covered by grass and mulch and filled with earthworms and roots, never exposed to the sun. So keep this side down. Brilliant idea. Obviously I've not kept this side upside down because I want to show it to you, the audience. I mean, isn't that pretty darn cool? That's exciting. I'm opening up the box using just a regular paring knife. You can use whatever kind of knife you happen to have on hand. Could be a pocket knife. Could be a Swiss Army knife. Go MacGyver on it. I don't want to hurt the box because I kind of want to save it. This farm is located in Sedalia, Missouri, or at least nearby Sedalia, Missouri, a place I've visited a couple of different times for work, and I'm kind of excited to visit there and stop in next time I'm in town. Oh, look! Again, I think that the detail they put on this box is pretty impressive. Deliver to your door, my favorite way to get food. Oh, look! A letter! See, handwritten notes like this are a part of what makes this kind of relationship awesome. Some people think that having door-to-door -door delivery or online sales stuff just distances you from your customers, but it can actually draw you pretty well close. My order form, listing out what I got. I got some roast chicken and my favorite pork chops. And oh look, they've got a flyer on the back. Real pasture raised food. Now the fun part. Oh, yes. I wonder what kind of insulation they're using. Pull out the paper stuff. That's not exciting. Not in the least. Oh, yes. There we go. Got the nice little plastic bag to kind of keep the box from getting wet as the meat kind of thaws a little bit. Got my tri 
tip roast right there. Mmm. Oh, the beauty of meat and vacuum seal. In case I don't talk about often enough, Fed from the Farm, you can go to their website, fedfromthefarm.com, and they have a wonderful online ordering system. There's another tri-tip roast. Oh, there's a chicken breast. Mm, chicken. The interesting thing is that they have a different butcher from the chicken to the beef, but that's not wholly surprising because sometimes the same places that butcher, actually oftentimes the same places that butcher beef don't butcher chicken. There's the pork chops. Mm, that was probably the thing I'm most excited to get in this box. Oh, just good old pork chops. It's been a while. It really has been a while since I had pork chops. And I always love it when get farm fresh. Or farm frozen in this case. Another chicken breast. Mm. Got a nice little pile going on the side. I'm excited. So that's the entirety of my order. Again, I recommend that you guys check out this farm. Fedfromthefarm.com, I believe is their website. And all of that will be linked in the comments. So that's the unboxing for our Fed from the Farm meat box we got. Awesome box. Definitely tempted to keep the box itself. So they definitely get big points for the packaging and presentation. I loved the handwritten note. I mean, that's just one of the greatest things you can do when you're trying to connect with your customers. Especially as someone who still hand writes letters probably one of the few people in the mid-20s age bracket to do so. I think that that was an awesome touch. Definitely increases my desire to want to order from them again. Really excited about this box. I can't wait to try out the actual meats themselves, give them a taste. But as far as just the unboxing itself, it was a great experience. I'm super excited. And thank you for joining me in this new experience. If you enjoyed this video, please be sure to let us know. We may then do more unboxing videos with other companies or even from this farm again. So you can let us know by either leaving a comment to this video or by emailing us at show at intellectualagrarian.com. Now, please do the YouTube things because I'm used to doing the podcast things. So the YouTube things, I believe, are to subscribe. That's the same as a podcast. Yeah, that's the same as a podcast, right? Okay, so subscribe on YouTube and be sure to leave this video a like, comment what's your favorite cut of meat. Do you have a farm you'd like to order from? While you're there, please be sure to also check out our podcast if you haven't already. That's where we do the majority of our content. We've got great interviews with farmers and agrarians who tell us all sorts of fun stuff. We grow smarter learning from their ideas and insight, skills and stories. We talk to farmers from around the world. We've recently had a couple of great guests talking about things like curbside delivery, doorstep delivery. It's a very relevant topic and I'm really excited about the guests that we've had talking about it. Also, be sure to check out our website, intellectualagrarian.com. There you can find where we do everything. So thank you for watching. This has been Terrence Leahy in the Intellectual Agrarian Podcast, reminding you to keep farming the dream.